I'm going to start by covering my eye and to do this I'm first going to lay down a piece of tissue paper to protect my uh, skin around my eye and my eyebrows and eyelashes because I'm going to go over this with this um, bandage tape and I'm going to cover the entire paper tissue in bandage tape just because it is skin colored and this is going to also help to make the tissue paper lay more flat to my face. So on the other side I'm just going to cover up my eyebrows so that I don't tear out my eyebrow hairs when I take this off later. So I'm just going to cut it to size. And on this side I'm only going to cover the top of my eyes so that I can actually see something and finish the rest of the makeup. So then comes my trusty nose and scar wax. I'm going to use this to cover all of this area that I've just taped down and this time it's okay if it's a little bit bumpy because the sear skin is very kind of scarified around this area and it kind of looks bumpy on him as well. So I just lay down a piece every time and then kind of blend out the edges to make this blend as seamlessly into my own skin as possible. Then I'm going to take a little bit of eye makeup remover on a cotton pad and I'm going to use this to blend out the edges even more. The makeup remover kind of dissolves the nose and scar wax so that it is easier to kind of fade out the edges. And then I'm going to powder this off with a lot, a lot of setting powder to make it kind of less sticky and ready to receive the makeup on top. So when that is done, I'm going to go over with a full coverage foundation to attempt to make this a little bit more like my own skin color. So I'm applying a very thick layer of foundation here to make sure everything is covered. And of course I'm going to apply this foundation on the rest of my skin as well. Then I'm going to wait a couple of seconds for this to dry a little bit before going over it with another very thick layer of powder because this is quite a thick layer of foundation and it's not going to set into the nose and scar wax so I really need to powder this off to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay so then I took a contour powder and I'm going to try and make myself look a little bit more old and chiseled. So I'm just contouring on certain parts of my face looking at a picture of the seer for reference. So then I took a stippling brush and that same contour powder and I'm just going to stipple this onto the um, scarred skin part to give it a little bit more of a skin-like texture. And then with a spatula I'm going to carve out those giant wrinkles that he has on the kind of less covered eye. And this is just going to make it look a little bit more realistic. So after I carve out a wrinkle, I go over it with that uh, makeup remover just to soften the edges a little bit. And then on the rest of my skin, I'm just going to take that contour powder again and just draw some wrinkles on. I'm also going to contour my neck to make it look a lot more thin, again wrinkled, old. And then I decided to go over the scarred part with a little bit of bronzer to make it match my natural skin color a little bit better.
Now I'm adding some wrinkles underneath the eyes. And then it's time for the signature black lips. I just took some black eyeshadow on my finger and pretty much applied it all around my lips. And then all there's left to do is take a ragged old scarf, place it over your head, and your CR look is all done. <laughs> 